Hello everyone, welcome back to Heroes Railway Journey. Today our journey will take us to the Hitachi Seaside Park in Ibaraki, thanks to the JR Hitachi Limited Express. One of the most popular times to travel to Japan is in the spring to see the cherry blossoms. Traveling in the spring means perfect weather and the flowers are in full bloom. But be wary if you have a bad case of allergies. Or if you're not a fan of big crowds, this can get quite hectic in some of the more popular cherry blossom spots. Cherry blossoms are one of the things that make Japan a number one destination for people all around the world. But the window to see them is pretty small and lodging can either be very expensive or overbooked. But here's the thing, there are several flowers that you can see pre and post cherry blossom craze. From canola flowers, nemophila, hydrangeas, and ume, you don't need to fret if you can't come during this time. That's why I want to recommend the Hitachi Seaside Park in Ibaraki to fulfill all of your flower gazing needs. And the ride there will be nice and smooth too. Ibaraki is a prefecture just north of Tokyo that borders the Pacific Ocean. The line we will use to get there is the JR Hitachi Limited Express. Today we are starting off at Uno Station in Tokyo. From here you can purchase your ticket and pick your seat and time at the ticket kiosk. The Hitachi will be on Platform 8. The rolling stock for the Hitachi is the E657 series, started a service in 2012 and is an electric multi-unit train. The body of the train's color is a pale pink and a magenta stripe along the side. The pink color represents the ume blossoms that are popular along the route, and the style is reminiscent of the older style Hitachi trains they used to run on this line. The entryway has an elegant dark wood interior, with bathrooms and sinks available in almost every carriage. The seats are an elegant dark black, and each armrest comes with an outlet for charging your devices. I have never seen outlets implemented this way before, and I found it to be super convenient. The windows are large and give a beautiful view of the countryside. And the trip is around an hour and a half long, so I would personally recommend a bento from the station. I got this very nice Inari Zushi bento from Uno Station just before I left. The ride is super smooth and swift, so it is a perfect time to relax. The JR Hitachi is the best way to get to the Seaside Park. We will soon arrive at Katsuta Station, and from here you can take a bus to the Seaside Park. The park is very spacious and there are several paths to pick from. The time I came to the Seaside Park was around early May, which is an ideal time to see the popular Nemophila flowers. The hill of the Nemophila flowers is covered completely and it really is a beautiful sight. The color of the flowers almost blend into the sky, certainly an Instagram worthy spot. And from the top of the hill you can see the rest of the park and the Pacific Ocean. This is certainly the highlight of the park. In addition, there are plenty of different gardens and forest groves to check out too. There are also several fun things to check out, such as the theme park that is popular amongst kids. Full of fun games, roller coasters, a ferris wheel, a BMX bike path, and a mini golf course. There are also several food stands and cafes to pick from. A must see is the Glass Terrace Cafe at the edge of the park overlooking the Pacific. And since the park is so big and spacious, there are bike paths you can take with bike rentals available too. And if you like, you can take a piece of the garden home with you, as there is a flower shop available too. There are many different flowers that bloom in different seasons, so there are multiple opportunities to visit year round. So if you want to get your floral fix in, I highly recommend the Hitachi Seaside Park. There are several gardens across Japan, so there's no need to worry if you miss the cherry blossom window. And the JR Hitachi is another awesome train to take to get there. If you're in Tokyo, the Seaside Park is a great spot for just a day trip. Ibaraki is a prefecture that isn't often visited by tourists, so I would definitely recommend checking it out when given the chance. Even though this was a short video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope I can ride with y'all in the next video. Jana! Yeah,